I really feel sorry for Ikenna. Since his father got sick and has been hospitalized, he hasn't been himself. And this guy is a nice guy. Yo. He used to be a nice guy, but not anymore. Right now, he needs money to take care of his old father. Or will you lend him some money? As what? Money lender. Now shut up and stop feeling for a poor church rat. What is your business with his father anyways? You is your own life, okay? You've not finished feeling for yourself, you're feeling for somebody else. Please, let's go to where we're going. Nkechi, do you know you are a wicked girl? As in, a very wicked girl. You, mm, you are nice. But we listen and do whatever I ask you to do. So between you and I, who is wicked? Please, let's go, Joe. Oh, you are a bad let's friend. Let's go. It's so unfortunate. You are a bad friend. Now I know. Come now, wait for me now. Wait now. Our brother has been in the hospital for a month now and we have not planned on how to help him. Uh, we need to put in a helping hand no matter how little. We need to so that people like Nelson will not laugh at her. Forget Nelson. He has been like this from his childhood days. Uh, Nobody should mention his name here, please. Let us talk another thing different. Nelson started changing when he lost to his eyes. If we could remember. As soon as that thing happened, he became a pure sadist. Even among his mates. We should all know that his hatred for Ndoka is because of that his eye he lost. And he refused to say it. Now tell me, how can Nelson abandon his brother even at this point? We need to make contribution to help him out. That's very important. But one thing that baffles me is Ndoka's life. He was very, very rough at the growing stages. But he became so gentle even before he got married. <laughs> that is life for you. Sometimes you do not judge someone based on his past life. Life is a misery. Life is a misery. Babe. Yes, babe. I want to seize this moment to tell you how how happy I am towards your emotions as regards your family. You've tried. You've done a whole lot. I want you to know that you're not doing it for man. You're doing it for God. Because he's the only person that gave you the strength. 
It's the only person that can bless you. How is your uncle? Ah, uh, he's getting better. In fact, he is better. Though he still can't use his legs and his right arm. But the mm. doctor said he will discharge him tomorrow. But with the help of um with the help of the wheelchair Steve gave him. God bless him. He will be able to move around. Mm. God is merciful. So how much is the bill? Um it's been paid. Hmm? Yes, babes. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, you remember the money I told you I withdrew from my father's account with his ATM card? I settled the bill with it. <laughs> <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. You too. Babe, I think you can uh, should think about something to do other than just sit idle at home. I don't think it's it's a wise thing to do if you'll ask me. Yes. He's trying. Well, maybe later we'll talk about that. For now, how is Joanne doing? Ah, she's fine. In fact, Everybody is fine. We are settled now. <laughs> all thanks to you. No, please. All <laughs> thanks to God. All thanks to God. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can't wait to see your father. I really need to come take you out of that house. I can't wait to get out of the house too. Just that I'll miss my mom. <laughs> but my, my dad is not in the country right now. He traveled. Whenever he comes back, I will let you know. I would have said you should come see my mom, but she's not the one you need to see. <laughs> you need to see that coconut head. <laughs> yes, yes, Gosh, that man makes me angry. I just pray that one day your father will come to terms with reality. And one cannot actually buy a brother. <sighs> I hope so too. I mean, I pray so. All right, can we stop talking about people and things? Can we talk about my stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry. I'm so sorry. So what do you want to eat? I would like to eat food. And after that, I would like to eat food. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, mm -hmm. you know, you have to try standing up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can walk. Remember, the doctor said that you should exercise more to light you up. I know. Uh. I have already tried this money in my room. It's not easy for me. Papa, there is no time it will be easy on your mind. There's no time it will be easy, but we just have to keep trying. I can't wait for you to walk. Yeah. Please sit down. Please wait. Are you okay like this or I should take you to the wall? No, I'm okay. Sir? I'm okay. Mboka, how are you today? I'm fine. Hmm. This sickness is a dangerous one. Look at our brother Nduka, confined on the wheelchair. Hey! So, who else is with you now? Ah, yeah. uh, no. You are around. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Sir. Come on. Yeah. Has my no. brother eaten? 
Yes, he already had breakfast. I'm already making lunch for him. All right. Yes. You know, the doctor instructed on the kind of meal that he should be taking now. So. My daughter, no more starch and salt. Yes. So he will not be eating food with salt? Mm. Yes, sir. I know. I know. Even the doctor said so. Personally, I found out that salt is very, very dangerous. It's a killer. Especially to men of your ages. Mm. Yes. If, if actually we can cut down the use of salt and all these chips, man, gear and the rest of them. It will have to be better. Seriously. This is serious. Thank you, my daughter, for this useful information. Yes, Thank you, too. Thank you very much for taking care of our brother. Your children will surely take care of you. Is yes, it? No. Did you see the Thank you, sir. Mm. Uh, my daughter, if our brother need anything, hmm? yes, sir. please don't forget to let us know. Mm. Hmm? Uh, thank you, sir. We make sure we make our own contribution. We have to be on our way. Mm. Um, Udoka. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you for always coming around. Bless you. Bless you too. You are children, we take care of you. Amen. The way you are taking care of our brother, you are children, children, we take care of you. Amen. Amen. Did you listen to that young girl? Yes, I did. I heard her clearly. As a matter of fact, from today, I will start avoiding salt. Though I know that all these things they call spices we eat every day, they are very, very dangerous in our system. Yes, these spices are the things that causes cancer, that kill people at their brain. Hmm. I have to avoid it. Listen, once I reach home now, I'll call my wife and I will instruct her on how to serve my food. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You Listen, right. we should be very careful with the things that goes into our mouth. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, we should be very careful. Of course. All right? I will do the same. I will tell my wife to stop using anything spice, all these their called spices or whatever. Mm. Let us go back to our culture. Ogliroba. 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 Yes. Dawa dawa. I'm going to go. Dawa dawa. Kai ga ga. 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 Kai ga
Yes, it's Jim. Ah! <laughs> How did you get to this place? Oh boy, it wasn't easy. Oh. But I asked and people directed me. Oh, you're welcome. Eh? <laughs> is this your father? Oh yes, sir. Uh, it's my father. He had a stroke. Yeah. Hey, uh, Daddy, sorry. Oh. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, mm. so I hope you're taking good care of Oh yes, I'm trying my best. Daddy, open more them. Chima! Chima! Come, come, come. They have the happy people. You're welcome, eh? Okay, I'm going to see you. Ah, ah, ah. This is my other son. I'm so surprised to see him here. How are you, son? Oh, yes. yes. How are you? Hey, welcome. Yes. Let's see how fine. Ah! Well, it's fine. I'll get him a seat. Okay. Get him a seat, eh? Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Get to seat, eh? I hope you're taking good care. Oh, yes. I'm trying my best, eh? Hey, okay, nah. Hurry up! So, that is why I've come to see you. My father has been terribly ill. And it has not been easy for us. Because. 
All I want you to do is to forgive him. Please. Forgive him for the allegations that he laid upon you. Especially now that the truth has finally crept out. Biko. Bahara. <laughs> Once again, thank you for finding me. At least I can sleep well today. Because I've been thinking. I have been thinking about my life. How someone I served for seven years will wake up and label me a thief. But to God be the glory. Pico, I know, I know it's not easy, but just try and forgive him. Find a place in your heart, please. I wonder. You know, this is not enough. I know, I know, I know. It, it's just something small. It's just a small token. But please, just manage it. Just find a place in your heart to forgive and forget. This is a check of two million naira. I I I I, I know it. Uh, compared to what my father did to you, it's 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 nothing. But please, just take it from me and Bahara. Piko. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jingo. <laughs> Ah, my brother, I wasn't expecting this. Yes. I never dreamt of this. Yes. I thought my whole world has ended. Well, thank God for everything. What can I say? Thank you very much. Thank you. My God will bless you. Thank you. Bless you, you see this money? This money will build an empire for me. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Does this mean that you have forgiven me and my father? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, for me. Yes. Thank you very no, much. no, no, no. Stand up. Stand up. Go sit. Stand up. Sit. You don't know how much no this means. <laughs> Tima, don't worry. Thank you. I'm fine, okay? Hmm? But I'm happy this you come to You're okay. welcome. Thank you very much. Tima. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Radio. Mom told me that Reverend Father Jude came to see you and you disrespected the man of God. Your brother who has been suffering from high blood pressure due to your constant attack on him and his family has been sick for a very long time and that you have never, ever gone to see him. Brother, what did you do? You packed your bags and traveled. I understand you're looking for your money. I took it. I took it for Chinwendu's eye surgery. And after the surgery, I brought her back to this house to properly heal. And what did my father do? He sent his own brother's daughter out of his own house. Daddy, what is wrong? 
What happened? What really went wrong that we don't know? Yes, I understand your brother wronged you when you were young. He got you blind. And then, for that reason, you've hated him all this while. But then I ask you now. What did his children do to you? Did he can wrong you? What did Chinwendu do to you? Did they do anything? Maybe something we don't know about. Tell us. So I will understand because I really don't understand why you hate them so much. Your brother has been bedridden for a very long time now. The doctor said he has he has stroke. We're not even sure if he's going to survive it. And you have never bothered to go see him. Daddy, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, really. If you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down and beg you. Why don't you make peace with your brother? Why don't you just go and see him? Even if you're not going to contribute anything to his health or to his well-being, just see him and ask him, how are you? Please. Sit down, please. My daughter, I'm sorry. When Reverend Father Jude came. I didn't disrespect him. I guess your mother misunderstood me. There is no way I would have disrespected our Reverend Father. No. I, I traveled out because there was an emergency in my company. And I needed to attend to it immediately. You would observe that since I came back, I've not displayed any form of animosity towards my brother. That house is his. He can stay. I have forgiven him. As a matter of fact, I... I'm planning for us to go to the village to go and see him so that I can do proper assessment of his health condition. Thank you. Thank you. And if possible, fly him out for proper treatment. My daughter, Daddy. you are a good child. Upon all I did to you, you still kept this family bond that we had. You didn't pay me with evil as I did to you. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, oh, Daddy, thank you. Thank you so much. My wife, I'm sorry. You are a nice person. I ask myself, why did I treat you like that? When my brother lost the wife, I knew that you withdrew a huge sum of money from our joint account. And I knew that that money was for proper burial for his wife. That can only be done by somebody with a golden heart. Yes, my brother did some bad things to me, but that was in the past. To say the truth, he was good most times to me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Oh, Daddy, go on. No, please. Don't. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Don't tell 
love me today. God has blessed you. Help us. You think I will not catch you? You think I will not catch you? You beat my mother as if both of you are mates. Eh? You beat my mother as if both of you are mates. Eh? You, you, you tell, tell him not to insult the soldiers again. Okay. Did I insult you? Did I insult you? I start beating you and slapping in my eyes. Don't you see he has proven in the eyes? Yes, you slapped him. Yes, you slapped him. Oh, I'm telling you, eh? What about you, no more? So it will be insulting me, Abi. You won't have like I didn't be there in one eye. Why? 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 Nasu! Nasu! What happened? Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Who did this to my brother? Ikemoko, what did this to you? What did you do to him? We are, we are in the class. We, we are having an exam, uh, and he asked me something, and I told him that I did not know. After the exam, he stopped me and started fighting with me, and hit me on my head with a stone. Hey! Hit you a stone because of a question? Yes, yes, yes. Hi. He came up for hit my brother. Stone because of question. Okay, let's go. Let I do. Nafia, my own kid. He came. Now what happened? Amen. Bunny, I'm. He 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 came. He came because he asked me some some something during the exam. Uh huh. And I told him that I did not know. And he did this to me. Hi. Oh God! Ask a question. Hey, hey, hey! Ask him now. This boy, we eat. Nah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We have to take you to the chemist. Eh? We will take you to the chemist. K three to go to the half. First, on a yaba gogo, a yaba gogo. So you'll be injected at least. Eh? Let's go. Let's go. The chemist lock. I'm not free ever. Please calm down. Please calm down. Eh? I'm sorry. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I find the fucking mix here, Papa. Stop hiding your heart, yes, in the morning. If I never would be more, be more, be more, be more, be more, be more, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you, Mom. Yes. Um, Daddy. Mom, this is Uche, my fiance. He's been a show that I've been leaning on all this while. And um, this is his friend, Steve. The two of them actually paid for Chiwendu's eye surgery and also on Kunduka's um, hospital expenses. And... Um, Steve also single-handedly bought a wheelchair for Onkunduka. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you so thank much. Thank you. If not for this appointment that um, I must keep, I am supposed to be in the village by now to see my brother. I traveled out of this country and so wasn't aware that he was sick. Well, from what I'm hearing, I'm sure I will have to fly him out of this country for proper treatment. Wow, that's nice. There's nothing like peaceful coexistence among brothers. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, I, I'd like to inform you that I will be coming with my people for the proper introduction. <laughs> yeah, um, same with me, sir. I will be coming for Chinwa as well. What? <laughs> oh my God. What is it? You never mentioned this to me. Who do you like the Latin? <laughs> Chimo has a good heart. She can make a good one. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, man. This is good news. I promise you one thing. I will take responsibility for all the expenses of your weddings. Oh. Both of you. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well done. Well done. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
they don't want anything. <laughs> Maybe you should persuade them. <laughs> I'll, I'll get them something. Uh -huh. I trust my mom. <laughs> Why are you disturbing me? When did I suddenly become your love again? I thought you said I don't have anything. And said all sort of rubbish. You are still using that same mouth to ask me to forgive you. Kinna. Kina, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean all those words I told you. It was my friend that deceived me. Nkechi, yes. Mm -hmm. She deceived me. Please, I am so sorry. Please, just... Uh, uh, no, don't touch me. Are you okay? When did that one start? Oh, maybe you heard that my Oga has settled me. So you decided to come back. So you can be asking me for money. Huh? You have failed. Okay. Listen. There is no point you wasting your time. Because what we had was in the past. And no more. Okay, now please just find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, I beg you. But don't touch me. I, I didn't hear your gasset with you. I didn't, yes. I just came to ask for your forgiveness. Please, just find a place in your heart to forgive don't, don't me. Don't touch me. Are you mad? Are you okay? Listen. Listen and listen, good Choma. Do not call my name again or stop me anywhere. Yes. Go back to the There's still other guys that she can introduce you to. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, babe. Dios. Kenna. you to go straight to the market square now and get us a taxi so that we can go and deposit this at the mortuary. Mm. Oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. cannot bring it back. Mm. Just to stop that talk. Oh, 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 What's happening here? Your brother, Ndoka, is dead. He died this morning. You are about to take him to the mortuary. My brother, look at him. Look at him lying down. My brother. My brother. Unduka. 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 No, you can't be dead. My brother. Why not? I came to tell him that I'm forgiving him. Abdul, I can't tell him that he can stay in the house. Rudia! Hey! My brother, I can't eat. I have made an arrangement to find him. Abdul! For treatment! 
But I don't know who I am. Please, it's not dead. Come on, you come. Let's take him to hospital, please. Take him to where? Take him to house. Carry him to your house. Take him now. Come on, let's go. We don't have to stop here, do we? We don't have to stop here, do we? We don't have to stop here, do we? Ah! Ah! My brother is not dead, do we? My brother is not dead, do we? My brother is not dead, do we?
Stop hiding your heart, yes, in the home. Oh, 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 o